Okay, welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today's one is going to be about uh, keyframing and exporting your um, project as an animation. Okay, first we're going to look at the timeline. It's right here in the standard layout. I don't know what your layout is, but in the standard it's here. Um, first we're going to go to uh, the timeline itself. You can just drag to go to any frame you want. Here you'll see in w at which frame you are. It's like here, it will say 60, 55, okay. Here it will set at which frame to start. You can also drag it. And this one to shorten your view here in the timeline. And if you want a longer animation, you can just like say 180. And you can make a longer animation, okay. And if you make it shorter, you can just click on it and to drag, you will go through all frames, okay. Well, if you've already made an animation, you can play it by clicking this one. You can play it backwards by clicking the other green one, pointing backwards. You can press this one to go to the start of the animation, to the absolute end of the animation. And these uh, two things that are left, two buttons that are left, you can just uh, go to go uh, scroll through every frame, every single frame. Okay. Okay. Well. Let's now create a cube, for example, and let's now make a simple animation with it. Okay, so let's click this one to go to the start of our timeline, and then click this one for keyframing. Okay, and now this will record his position, rotation, and scale. So let's say we're gonna go to frame 50, we'll scale it up a little, we'll move it this way. And so rotate it a little, and then press this key again. Don't forget to press it, of course. Go back and then play it. You'll see it rotates and scales. Oh wait, that's a little mistake I made there. Yeah. Okay. So okay, mm. this button next to the keyframe button is to make an automatic keyframe. Okay. So let's say you'd put it on, automatic keyframing, and you'd go to frame 20, and you'd move it, it will automatically keyframe it, okay? So that's quite useful if you <laughs> want to use it, okay? So that's how you made, make simple animations, okay? And it will also, uh, simply also automatically smooth it, the animation, so you don't have to do that yourself. Okay, then if you look at this uh, part of the timeline, the first three buttons really matter because uh, these are all uh, turned on now but if I would turn off scale and rotation it will for example only record its, its position okay and if I would turn that off it will only record its scale and rotation okay so those are for the different uh, things to record in your animation okay well but of course you can't make an animation only by doing this so let's say you go to a cube and go to fill it. Everything has this little rounded cube, black rounded cube before itself. So let's say at frame one, zero, we're now at frame zero, I want to set fill it to um, add keyframe to to not enabled, okay? To disabled. <laughs> and then I'd go to frame 50, I will disable it. Then I would right click again, animation at keyframe, and now it will turn on fillet while it's animating. You see? And you can also just adjust these ones. So let's say you just uh, keep fillet on, right click animation at keyframe. And you only want to change the radius. So at frame zero, right click animation at keyframe at 40 centimeters. And then at frame 50, you'd set it to like, I don't know, uh, 15 centimeters. Right click, animation, act keyframe. And now, if you look at it, it will change the fillet radius only during the animation. See? So that's how you keyframe these things here. You can keyframe almost anything. You see, almost anything has, has that uh, round of cube before itself. You just have to right click, animation, at keyframe. Okay? So, if you've made an animation, um, of course you want to export it 
and the, in CinemaD that's called a preview. So if you go to this drop down menu, underneath at the bottom you see make preview. If you click on it, you can, can make a preview. I'll set it to full render. I want to render like only to frame 50 because that's where it stops. Okay, to manual 0 to 50. Uh, image size, let's say 640. And frame rate 30. That means that there are 30 frames played in one second. Okay. Now, of course, you could uh, edit the options here, but I'm just going to leave it this way. Then, if you press OK, you'll see here it will calculate the preview. And uh, once it's done, wait a second, it will open up in your picture viewer. Okay. And this is the animation we just made. It's always called preview. That uh, MOV. If you, uh, if you set it on QuickTime, otherwise it's called AV. If I'm not mistaken. And then if you right-click and go to Show File and Explorer Finder, you should find it in some weird file folder. But here you should find it. Preview that MOV. And then you can just play it in QuickTime, like a real animation. Okay. See you next time for more information of keyframing and animations. See you next time. I already said that. Okay.